In this video, we are going to learn how to do this animation step by step. We are going to base on this image. Here it is shown how to calculate each value of the triangle using combinations. The first step is to draw a triangle with the red values of this image. We can see this pyramid as a group of several lines. The solution is quite simple. We use a loop to get the maximum value of each row, and we use another loop to get all the corresponding values of that row. Finally, we use the arrange method, one for each row and one for the group of all the rows. We can reduce the size of the code using list comprehensions. The next step is now to draw the same image, but using this notation. For this, we can create a custom class. With this, we can create the image using the previous code. The only thing we have to change is this line. The value on the left is kept constant throughout the line, and the value on the right is the one that changes. With this code now we can obtain the values of the triangle. For this we can use the comb function provided by the math library. And ready, we see that the values are correct. However the numbers are not uniformly positioned. To solve this, we can put the numbers inside a square, and then when we use the arrange method the position will be uniform. And ready, if we now change the class math text with the new class that we have created the position of the numbers is uniform. The next step is to create the animation. To create this rectangle we can use the class surround rectangle, which as its name indicates, serves to create a rectangle that surrounds several objects. Now, the first calculation starts from the second line, so this is where the rectangle should appear. Also, the rectangle should not go through the last line, since these values will not be used to obtain the next line. With that in mind, creating the animation is quite simple. We just have to iterate over each of the rows, from the first value to the penultimate one. Perfect, we see that everything works correctly, now we only need to transform the values contained in the rectangle to the value that they have underneath. Let's make the animation for the first value to give us an idea of how it should be. The transformation will contain the rectangle together with the two values, and the target will be a value of the next line, but the index will be offset one value to the right. With this in mind, we can now iterate over the rest of the values. Here we distinguish two rows, the lower and the upper one. The upper rows go from the third row to the penultimate row, while the lower rows go from the fourth row to the last row. The rest of the code is the same as before, remembering that we have to offset the bottom line to the right. And that's it, we have finished our animation. Now we can simply add a little more style to our animation by first showing the ends of each line and build from them the rest of the values. The ends can be obtained in this way. The warning shown here is because, for the first row, we are trying to group the same value twice and vgroups do not accept repeated objects. For this reason, we can ignore this warning or add a conditional to avoid this problem. If we put everything together, we get the complete animation. Whenever you face a complex animation, it is best to start with a simpler animation, and build each element step by step, in a modular way, instead of doing everything in the same class.
Finally, I would like to remind you that if you want to learn Manum at a professional level, you can buy the bundle of my three courses for only $80. The basic course and the intermediate course will teach you all the theory and tips to understand how Manum works, and the Manum Examples course will teach you how the animation design process works, with more than 30 exercises and many tips that you won't find anywhere else. If you have already purchased the first two courses, you can use the coupon you see on the screen to buy the Manum Examples course for only $30. This promotion will only be valid until the end of January 2024. Thank you very much for making it this far. See you in the next video.